Hey love, so you mentioned uh, you wanted to know more about chest binding, so I thought I'd make a little video for you. This is with a normal underwire bra. Um, I do not use these except for orchestra concerts because sports bras show. This is a sports bra. You can notice it's a bit flatter, um, but there's still a curve, um, and sometimes that bothers me. So this is the binder. Again, there's a little bit of a curve, but it's a lot flatter, um, so I prefer this usually. Now for a little demo. So uh, I did draw diagrams, um, and I'm basically going to explain how the chest binder works. So let's off camera focus. So breasts normally hang down low. Um, there are ways to make them perkier or whatever. I don't really care for that. Normally they hang down low. Um, underwire and push-up bras tend to bring them up. It provides a lift, um, which is why some women prefer them. It gives the appearance of larger chests. Sports bras uh, help keep them close, help keep your cat, uh, chest close so that your breasts don't bounce as much because that fucking hurts. But it's not so tight that you can't breathe, hence why it's good for sports. Um, so as you can see, there's still a curve, but it's flatter. Chest binders, you press it so that it's as flat as possible, or as flat as is safe. Um, with chest binders, positioning is important. The safest way is with the nipples forwards, and the flattest way is if you angle them to the side, but we go for safety before appearance, always. And there are a lot of do's and don'ts to chest binding, so six to eight hours max. Don't exercise in it, don't swim in it, don't sleep in it. Don't double bind, this means wearing two binders. Don't wear when sick and listen to your body. Not following these rules is very dangerous and even with a good binder can result in damaged uh, breast tissue, uh, torn muscles, fractured ribs. Um, so it's important to follow these rules. Hence why sometimes you'll see on Snapchat I'm like, oops, I accidentally wore my binder for too long. Um, I don't do it that often. I try to take it off on time. And I'm usually pretty good about it. But, um, yeah. If you have any other questions, uh, let me know. So, um... But, basically, um, I'm wearing my binder, it's harder for me to breathe, so I can't be as active while I'm wearing it, meaning that, or at least I'll be out of breath faster. Um, I think... Just be careful if I'm wearing a binder. Uh, don't try to squash me because I can't breathe then, and that's not really a good thing. But yes, I love you very much, and if you want me to, I can tell you when I'm wearing a binder. Um, but it shouldn't be that, it shouldn't be a huge uh, thing to the point where it's like, uh, like, let's say no cuddling if I'm wearing a binder. No, that's ridiculous. I want cuddles. I'm a touch-starved goblin. We've been over this. So, anyways, here you go.